Hi, this is Swapnil Bharatiya and welcome to TFR Insights. And today we have with us Tim Homan, CEO of Boxboat Technologies. They are one of the platinum partners of Ranger Labs. Tim, first of all, uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. I love your logo there. So I do know there is some history and story there. Tell us a bit about the company. Well, Boxboat was founded in 2016. Uh, at that point, uh, the big brand at that point was Docker, right? Everybody was, was hot on Docker and as the open source technology and the company. And so Boxboat was founded primarily around enabling companies with containers. And so we built our logo around that. So it's a container ship. Uh, and actually the slang, uh, Boxboat is the slang name from the dock workers for a container ship. And since you know the company was founded and you guys actually predate a lot of technologies that we are using today. Uh, so, so uh, Tell us a bit about uh, how you see the evolution of Kubernetes, you know, one of the you know, uh, largest open source technologies in this space. And at the same time, how it has created you know, new opportunities for companies like Boxboat. Sure, yeah, it was a, it was a crazy time early on because you know, Rancher had cattle, right? Um, Docker had Swarm, you know, Kubernetes was just coming along um, and enterprises really didn't know, you know where to go with that. There was a lot of confusion. Um, and all those technologies had merit, um, but then the, um, the industry kind of coalesced around Kubernetes. And since then, that's really been, uh, it's been great for enterprises um, because now there's a target, right? And so now everybody can get the advantages of Kubernetes, which are, which are incredible. Um, so as a company, we see a lot of opportunity enabling enterprises with DevSecOps and Kubernetes because of their uh, because of all that it's doing. I just want to understand you know, a, a bit about your services, your solutions, your product. We're primarily a consultancy. So we help people with implementation engineering services. So we are you know, helping them build pipelines, you know, install uh, you know, Kubernetes clusters, Rancher specifically. Um, and then we also do a lot of uh, training and then a lot of strategy work. So uh, you think you're an enterprise, Lots of times it's driven by a development organization that says, hey, we've built this application with containers and we want to deploy it on Kubernetes. And the operations team kind of gets stuck. They're like, whoa. So they bring in Boxboat. We do a maturity model assessment and say, okay, where are you today in terms of being able to support container-based applications and Kubernetes? And what do you need to do to move to industry best practices around that? We build them a roadmap and then we come in and enable them to do that. And what are some of the major challenges or problems that you you see that you know the clients that you consult on help with face when they embrace these cloud native technologies? A, a lot of the challenges come around you know, just people and processes, right? I mean, sometimes putting the technology and getting that to work isn't so hard, but it's there are new processes for how development communicates with QA and how QA communicates with, with operations. And so really just up, uplifting those organizations to learn how to do that and able to then leverage the scale and the, and the speed that these technologies can give you is sometimes a big part of our implementations. And that's, you know, when you try to help them, where does Rancher Lab come into the picture? So Rancher's got a great solution for managing multiple Kubernetes clusters and, and also helping the development team um, you know, essentially pick the container images they want, the applications they want, use the development on it, and then, uh, and then you know, push those things to deployment. Um, and so they make that really simple. And so the operations team, once they start using Rancher, is, is, it's very easy for them to manage and maintain their Kubernetes clusters. Um, but where most organizations str struggle is kind of the things around that, right? Uh, which is the communication with development, um, you know, getting the applications into microservices so that they can be deployed in this in this new Kubernetes architecture. There are a lot of players, you know, if you look at the Kubernetes or cloud native space, it's a cloud native space, though there are a lot of consolidation happening in the space. Why did you choose Rancher Labs, you know, as a technology partner? What value you saw in them or what benefit do they bring to you or your clients? There's lots of good answers to that. I mean, the first one is, is that, you know, when that, that coalescence to Kubernetes occurred, Rancher was the fastest to pivot. And then they did a great job of building a solution that is just one by one knocking down what enterprises need to best manage multiple Kubernetes clusters and the end-to-end -end, you know, container workflow. They've done a great job of that. Uh, secondly, you know, lots of times when you partner with a company, it comes down to people. 
And we've just been very impressed with their people from the executives to the salespeople, to the field engineers, you know, to the guys in engineering that we've met. Um, with that, you know, people work together and we've been able to then create great opportunity for Boxboat and Rancher. What unique value does this Platinum program bring to parts of like, you know, Boxboat? Is there anything unique, specific or additional that you get from them? Certainly, certainly, uh, you know, number one, I think we have better visibility within Rancher because of that. Um, their salespeople uh, know that we, you know, are experts in implementing the Rancher uh, technology and the things around it. Um, number two, uh, we're engaged with their marketing department around their Rancher rodeos uh, and their master classes uh, that they do. So we get opportunities to be involved in those events. Um, and, and that provides Boxboat, a smaller company, you know, exposure into lots of markets, uh, which is very helpful for a company like us. And since you mentioned, you know, exposure to a lot of markets and ranchers, they have expanded their program to uh, EMEA region also. What does that mean for you? That won't have much impact on, on, on Boxboat. We're, we're primarily focused on, on North America and really kind of east of the Mississippi. Um, but uh, I think for them, they've done a lot of business in EMEA the last few years. And so I think by moving that, that program over there, they're going to be able to reach out to great partners over there. And, uh, and and then further their reach into the into the enterprises there. The 2020 has been a very <laughs> crazy year so far because of so many different reasons. But uh, I mean, out of this unfortunate situation, there are something in you know, the positive that is happening, which is also that suddenly moving to cloud has become an urgency. Companies who are already on their you know cloud uh, journey further there, they are the one who are able to compete, survive, and help their users. As we are all stuck in our houses, we still have to do a lot of things. So those are the companies who are helping us. Uh, what does it mean uh, for for the the whole cloud native ecosystem? As you know, earlier we were trying to tell people to move. Now people do understand. So from 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 not in general, but also post crisis world, what do you think twenty twenty will look like? Uh, when you look at your engagement with companies like Rancher, who are, you know, one of the front runners in this cloud radio space? Well, I think, you know, this crazy time we're in has done a few things, right? So one, you have a lot more people working remotely, right? Uh, two, you have a lot of people hitting, app, you know, applications, whether it's e-commerce sites or Zoom, that are expecting kind of web scale performance, right? So people, these sites need to now run like, Amazon, Google, Facebook, right? And so the technologies that drive that, that can bring like the run in the mill companies can now act like those big companies is Kubernetes, you know, and Rancher as a, as a piece of that, right? So you can re-architect your sites to be able to, to work at web scale. And that's now becoming something that every company needs to do because no American wants to hit a website and have slow performance or have it, you know, uh, break down on them, right? So. Uh, as companies like Boxboat, we can we can help those companies, you know, get their sites, get their applications to uh, where they want it uh, by leveraging these open source technologies like like Rancher. And if you look at the the Platinum Partner Program that Rancher has, you know, can you tell our viewers a bit more about you know how somebody can join the program? You know, what are the core benefits, why they should join it, and what are the resources available there? Well, sure, sure. The Platinum program is great, I mean, because uh, what, what Rancher has done is kind of packed it all up so that a, a solution provider like Boxboat um, can easily ramp up on the Rancher technology and engage with the Rancher team. Uh, they just released a new portal uh, that has all of their their latest, um, you know, collateral and, and, and tech, tech data sheets. And that helps us go to our customers so that when our customers are looking for the latest information, we know we can go to that portal to get it, um, which seems like an easy thing. But with lots of different companies you work with, you know, that doesn't happen. It's really hard to get the materials you need in order to get the right thing in front of the customer. Tim, thank you for taking time out of your schedule and uh, talking a bit about this Platinum Partner Program. And I look forward to seeing you at some point to learn more about what you're doing there. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. It's been a great event. Thank you.